I S U P K. Unto the ground. That's what the Bible says about the real description of the Jews. They are black unto the ground. Now, if you go dig up the ground, you're going to see different shades of what? You're going to see brown, dark brown, light brown, reddish brown. But guess what? They not what you think. Them people over in the Middle East, in the land of Israel, them not the real Israelites. Let me get Revelations 2 and 9 real quick. This is what the Bible says about them. The Bible says this about them. They are imposters, man. Right. Have you ever heard them say, like a lot of people get mad at us for the things that we say, but you know the so-called Jewish man, he says the same thing. They say, you know what, we're God's chosen people. We have the inheritance of the Lord. We're the chosen people. This is our land. We're the best people on the planet. They say that. And guess what they do? They don't congregate with everybody. They remain separate. That's right. It's not impossible. It's not impossible to have your own neighborhoods, black man. It's not impossible to be separate from other nations. It's not impossible to see a voting ad and you ignore it. It's not impossible. You can do it. They don't tell the so-called Jewish man to vote. He could give a damn about voting. Why? Because just like the Chinese do, he got his own neighborhoods. Go down into Chinatown and see how diverse it is. How diverse is Chinatown in any major city? Is it diverse? Hell no. It's full of Chinese people with kung fu suits, eating rat, cat, and dog. That's right. That's what it is. And guess what? You go down there thinking you can put a soul food shack down in Chinatown and see how quickly you get ran out of there and they throw chop suey at your black behind. Right. That's what's going to happen. But instead, what we do, we welcome everybody in our neck. Come on in. And then we go, listen, the Arabs set up shop. We, go, we in there buying Philly blunts all day, every day. We in there getting all the drinks, all the snacks. Guess what we should do? When somebody from another race comes into our neighborhood, we shouldn't we shouldn't go there. We shouldn't go. You all these people right here. You see all the broke people. We could all come together and get a, get a little small store in our neighborhood and hire black people, Hispanic people. And guess what? When the Arabs set up shop, we ain't gotta go get gas there. We get our own gas station. But we we not taught to think like that. We taught to think like, oh here, ah, who's that? Nigga? Yeah, I know him. He a op. That's not an op. That's your brother. That's your, that's your only ticket out of here. That's your only ticket out of here, another black, Hispanic, and Native American man. That's your only ticket. Because if you believe in white Jesus, you, you might as well wrap it up, man. Ain't no white man coming out the sky to save you. That's right. Go ahead. This is Revelations chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works. This is talking about the so-called Jewish man. Now, the first part is talking about you, black, Hispanic, and Native American man. The Lord says he know your works. Like, you know how much work it is to build a nation? A lot of these oppressors, they, they deny and say, you ain't build nothing. If you, if you built it, then go build it in Africa. Mistake number one, we're not from Africa. we Israelites. Right. It's a difference between African people and Israelite people. Just because we got dark skin don't make us the same. In fact, sidebar, sidebar if I could, Go talk to any African and see as you him. I guarantee you're going to smell him before you talk to him. And you're going to know that that ain't your people. Y'all not the same. Your hair ain't the same. Your skin ain't the same. Your, your hygiene ain't the same. Your customs ain't the same. Your flavor ain't the same. How many trends is going on in Africa? 
that Americans do? How many trends going on here that they stealing in Africa? All of them, damn near. Except eating them monkeys. You ever seen that video where they're eating them monkeys? Boy, that is crazy. They just get a monkey, hit them in the head, boop, boop, pull them out the tree and start biting them.